Hi friends, it's Pastor Harley from the Broadway Global Methodist Church. I'd like to hear these words from Psalm number 72. It says, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous things. Blessed be his glorious name forever. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. This word in Psalm of David and uh, verses 18, 19, and 20, they bring us to the point where David, having prayed many prayers, having called upon God's help, having, having sought God on behalf of his own sin, having sought God for protection and deliverance from his enemies and his trials. He now is at this point, it is, it's kind of an ending point, even though it's a middle psalm. He says, blessed be God, blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, the one who has involved himself in Israel's life. And it is he alone who does the wondrous things. There are wonders in this earth, but they're all by his hand. There are miracles done, and the miracles, miracles that bring us grace, they're from the hand of God. Blessed be his glorious name forever. You know, can, can, we, can we say enough to say, blessed be God. May his name, you know, just, just open heaven when we call upon it. May this continue forever, and may the whole earth be filled with his glory, and then amen and amen. May this be true, may this come to pass. It is both a prayer and a declaration. Because is this prayer of David's answered? Yes, the earth is full of the glory of the Lord. Yes, the Lord has done wondrous things. Yes, his name is recognized as glorious. We just need to bring even more people to, to, their, to the place where they're on their knees before the throne of God. That's where we become truly the people we were created to be when our hearts are filled with praise for him. Praise him today. Amen.